Viewers, fans, and subscribers, before we dive into the breaking news we got for you in the WWE, I mean, please tell me. I'll tell you all right now. You don't have to please tell me because I'm going to tell you something major, something drastic, something huge. A major development has happened with Sean's View Entertainment, and it's thanks to each and every one of you, ladies and gentlemen. According and thanks to you, Sean's View has officially reached after all the detours, all the mishaps, all the bad times, all the good times, all the ups and downs, through all the struggles, through all the tears, through all the fears, through all the tenacity, through all the calls, through all the balls, through every single thing that I have had to deal with and endure. Sean's View has done it for you. Why? Because you brought it to me. 130,000 plus subscribers are on this very channel thanks to your overwhelming commitment and passion and dedication for bringing to Sean's View Entertainment your expertise. I want to say thank you so much for your expert analysis, comments, opinions, super chat donations in the comment section below. You guys have done it in stereo. Remember to please share this video to Facebook and Twitter. Have no fear. The brash one is here, and this is a monumental achievement for this channel and a shocking announcement has been made for SummerSlam a shock a shock of shocks ladies and gentlemen at WWE SummerSlam a massive stipulation has been added to the Jey Uso Roman Reigns match now that's what you already know you, you already know that. You already know the stipulation. You already know the match name. Well, what I'm here to tell you is that this isn't the only match that is going to have a stipulation at the hottest event of the year, SummerSlam. There's going to be another match that's going to have a stipulation, and I am working on that for you right now. What do you think that match is going to be? Well, according to the rumors and the speculation, that match is going to be for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Seth Rollins versus Finn Balor is expected, anticipated, to have some sort of a stipulation. Do you want to see that? Yes or no? Your thoughts in the video. Also, we got more breaking news on L. A night, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Although LA Knight came up short, the WWE did protect LA Knight by not having him actually lose or get defeated himself in the match. He wasn't the one that took the pinfall, the submission, the DQ, the Schmee Q, whatever it is. No, 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 no. You see, WWE is protecting LA Knight because there are bigger things set in motion. Because after SummerSlam, the WWE is going to push LA Knight, and that's all right with me because I'm a big fan of LA Knight. Also, viewers, fans, and subscribers, breaking news just coming across right my desk right now. At SummerSlam, there is a rumor and speculation that LA Knight will still be used at SummerSlam despite his loss, despite not going against Austin Theory for the United States title. As a matter of fact, a major title match has been pulled from SummerSlam. It was rumored, it was speculated that United States champion Austin Theory would defend his title at SummerSlam. That championship match has now been pulled, and Austin Theory has been pulled from SummerSlam. It seems like that that match will now take place on an episode of SmackDown. Because the WWE wants to make SmackDown more important and more influential. Your thoughts on WWE pulling the United States title match from SummerSlam? Because there's already six to seven matches already booked for SummerSlam. Also, viewers, fans, and subscribers, there's a lot of breaking news about next year's SummerSlam going not one, but two days. Do you want to see SummerSlam going to two days? That is a thought and a rumor going out there for next year's SummerSlam extravaganza. Also, viewers, fans, and subscribers, we've got breaking news on a massive segment that the WWE is rumoredly going to have on that show at SummerSlam. Slam from Michigan. Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be the Grayson Waller effect, and it would appear as if Stone Cold, The Undertaker, The Rock, and John Cena are all going to uh, interrupt Grayson Waller, The Rock, Austin, <laughs> The Undertaker, Michaels. They're all going to intersect. They're all going to intercept. Excuse me. I, I, I said John Cena. My bad. My botch and blooper there. I, I, excuse me. It'll be Austin Rock, Undertaker, and, and Shawn Michaels that are going to uh, intersect uh, this segment with Grayson Waller on the Grayson Waller effect. Are you for this? Are you against this? What are your thought processes on the Grayson Waller effect and Waller being decimated by Austin, The Rock, <laughs> The Undertaker, and the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels? Do you think that will be an interesting and entertaining segment? It is definitely going to be involving. Make no mistake about that at the end of the day. Remember to tell your friends, your boyfriends, your girlfriends about me on TikTok, on Twitter, on MySpace, on Facebook, uh, Instagram. Tell everyone you know about Shawn 
Dolan's view entertainment. Also, multiple WWE superstars sick. Multiple WWE superstars suffering with COVID. WWE SmackDown had to be rebooked last night. They had to go in a different direction. They had to change plans. They had to change matches. Multiple WWE superstars were sick and uh, were under the weather last night at SmackDown. SmackDown had to be rewritten, and uh, that was a very big thing. Also, Roman Reigns versus Randy Orton is confirmed. Yes, Roman Reigns versus Randy Orton is being confirmed for an event later on this year, potentially the Survivor Series, and that would be a monumental epic uh, a, a turn of events, if you ask the brash and the brazen. Well, we always raise the bar on the hottest, the latest, the greatest, the newest. What do you think about Randy Orton, Roman Reigns going at it? It will be one for the ages. Make no mistake about it. What impact and what velocity that will have with Orton versus Roman Reigns. Also, viewers, fans, and subscribers, in from there. News just coming across my desk right now, viewers. News just coming in right now. It's the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels, returning for one more match or one more run. Shawn Michaels, Mr. WrestleMania. Is he returning? Is he coming back? This morning, Shawn Michaels had an interview. Or was it yesterday? It might have been late yesterday. But although Michaels was trending, HBK, old HBK was trending. Shawn Michaels says he will never wrestle again. He doesn't have the itch to wrestle again. And he is permanently retired. Your thoughts on Shawn Michaels helping out with the NXT guys in the back. Also, viewers, fans, and subscribers. In from there, we got another big report we're working on right now behind the scenes because listen to this one, guys. WWE did change up SmackDown plans due to positive COVID tests. Yes, indeed, they did. Also, WWE's original plan for Triple H and Batista's WrestleMania match. Remember, they had a huge match years ago. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you know that Triple H and Batista, that thing built toward that great WrestleMania number, and that was supposed to be a TV match in a couple of weeks later. That's what it was set up for. It wasn't so. It wasn't that it hit so big that they changed it. It was that Triple H had so much power that he was able to get it changed because... Because he smelled the big WrestleMania number, but he knew that if they blew it off and put it on TV in a couple of weeks, that they wouldn't, they, they couldn't put it on WrestleMania. So Dave Meltzer noted that Triple H and Batista's WrestleMania match wasn't even supposed to be at the show of shows. They were supposed to have the match, and they ended up being, and this ended up being Batista and Triple H's last WrestleMania match uh, on a free episode of Raw a few weeks out. But obviously, the WWE went in a different direction with that one. Also, ladies and gentlemen, Seth Rollins would be okay if, if, his, if his daughter doesn't become a professional wrestler. Also, ladies and gentlemen, again, there was plans for the U.S. title to be defended at SummerSlam. It is going to be defended on SmackDown instead. Also, breaking news, ladies and gentlemen, Vince McMahon, <laughs> this, is, this is huge, Vince McMahon wanted to book an unlikely, an unlikely enhancement talent in main event level matches. Now, you got to wonder, what is Vince McMahon thinking at this stage of the game? He revealed one interesting booking idea that the chairman had. He apparently wanted to give James Ellsworth a lot more shine. Vince McMahon wanted to put James Ellsworth in the main event, in the closing segments of WWE on WWE television. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions on that. Ladies and gentlemen, Dominic Mysterio. We got breaking news on Dominic Mysterio. We already know he's a champion. We already know he's defended his championship. He's already defended his belt. He's getting so much heat. But ladies and gentlemen, Rey Mysterio... I don't know what he thinks about this. I don't know what he feels about this. But Mysterio has been able to be the headliner and one of the main uh, the main stars. The, the main stars. Uh, the guys, the heat is really getting to me at 105 degrees. It's very hot, very humid. The heat's getting to me. But let me get this out there. Dominic Mysterio, viewers, fans, and subscribers, uh, was did something remarkable. He was on Raw. He was on SmackDown. He was on NXT all in the span of one week and won a championship. So that was ma very, ma very big and very major. Also, the WWE is discussing a major SummerSlam idea for Bray Wyatt. Bray has been around a few times. His plans are for his return. And feud, and a feud suggested and approved by everyone. It's only a call of when. The discussion is for SummerSlam, so I'd keep an eye out on the main events of that night. BWE has noted that behind his private Twitter account that there are plans for Bray Wyatt's return to WWE. He has reported that this report has been around a few times, and at this point, SummerSlam is a major possibility. Your thoughts, your comments, your opinions on the return of Bray Wyatt to SummerSlam, a cataclysmic update on Bray Wyatt. Sean's View Entertainment is always prolific, consistent, and dedicated, raising the bar and the hottest, the latest, the greatest, the newest, all for you. Why? Because this is Sean's View. More to come. Subscribe, share this video, click that bell. More to come. Stay tuned. We'll be here all day, every day.